Okay, so it's been slow. No takes this morning. I figured this would be a good opportunity to give you an idea of how I fish this setup. So I've casted out my sinking line. It's been sinking for about 30 seconds. So I'm going to start bringing it in. I usually start by just doing a couple big pulls. Then I'll kind of start the main retrieve. I might start slow and steady. Try not to have much of a pause between there. These are about two foot long strips. Do that for about 10 strips. Maybe let it rest. Basically, I'm just switching stuff up. See if I can entice a take. Maybe I'll go fast. You can see I'm piling all my line into my net right here by my side. Now my sink tip's starting to come in. Okay, and then this last part, I just kind of drag my tip. Let's see if I can see my flies, see any followers. Okay, so now I'm going to start the recasting sequence. So for this part, so I'm just going to do some single hand overhead casts until all of this sink tip is just outside the tip of my rod. Okay, so this one should do it. Okay, so it's outside the tip of the rod. Normally I would do this a lot faster, but since I'm explaining it, I'm trying to slow it down. So now the next time it hits the water, I'm gonna grab my rod like this and do a double back cast, stop with my rod pretty much straight up and then shoot it forward with both hands and let go with all my line. So I'll bring it in and I'll kind of do it in real time. Okay, single overhead cast until it's outside the rod tip. Now a double back cast. So what's important is to stop your rod tip high and to stop it abruptly. On that back cast, I stop with it pretty much vertical. And then I wait for everything to straighten out behind me. And then I do a smooth acceleration on the forward cast to an abrupt stop. And then I keep my rod tip high. Once my flies past my rod tip, I'll even raise my rod tip a little bit, which creates more tension on that line that's shooting out. Um, more friction, I mean. So then it's gonna slow down the line and it's gonna let that loop unfold and those flies land straight. So now I'm gonna wait for about 30 seconds to sink and then I'll retrieve and then I'll do the whole thing again, but I just won't explain it and you can just kind of see what I'm doing. So when I was stripping in, I was counting my two foot strips and I had exactly 30 two foot strips of my running line. So that's, you know, 60 feet, give or take, but that's pretty accurate. And then I got my 30 foot tip, so that's 90 feet. And then I got about an eight foot leader set up to my bottom fly. So if that's a hundred foot cast and that's easy, I can go more than that too. Um, I can sometimes do like 40 strips of line. So 120, um, on a good day may even be able to go 140. So it's a super effective way to fish this. You cover a lot of ground. Um, that being said, a lot of the time out here, you're really only fo focusing on the area that's 30 feet in front of you. That's where the fish usually are on that, that sort of transition. But I just swear I had a bump. took it while it was sitting still. Can you believe that? That's hilarious. I've only had that happen to me a few times. So that pretty much just negates everything I just said. That fish was a hundred feet out, but most of the time they're in close. So what I actually use this for is casting a little bit more parallel to shore and then fish that entire 120 feet length right in the strike zone. 
sick. I can't believe that. I even think he took my bugger, so the bugger wasn't even floating that high off the ground. He just swam by and swooped it up. It's not bad, he's probably like five pounds. So small for here, but generally not bad. He's a summit. I mean, I haven't seen the adipose, but he has a much pointier snout. General trait of the summit. A little more torpedo shaped body. And there's the adipose. Sweet. Heck yeah. Super happy with that. I'm just trying to get a measurement on you, guy. 14, 8, 24. Well, this little video couldn't have turned out any better. Wow, I can't believe that. That was so cool. So this fish I was given a little casting tutorial, kind of explaining my process. I busted a hundred foot cast out there, was just letting it sit. And then while I was talking to the camera, I just kind of felt a tug on the end of my line. And he had just taken my flies while they were sitting still on the bottom there. So super stoked I got him. Super pretty summit. See, they have generally, they have more spots, more evenly spaced throughout the whole body. They have a little bit brighter colors, pointier snout, more torpedo shaped body. They lack kind of that big bucket mouth that the pilots have and they have their adipose, but that's not always a perfect indicator. Um, they clip the adipose on the um, hatchery raised pilots, but there are a number of pilots now that have been successfully producing nat reproducing naturally. Um, so you'll catch some pretty big pilots. Uh, with their adipose and it's pretty obvious when it's a pilot versus summit regardless of the state of the adipose okay i'm gonna get this guy released yeah look at that they don't get much prettier